So in the symposium, we discuss, we overview all the update data that were presented here in the HESMO and also in World Lung Cancer Congress for patients with a non-small cell lung cancer harboring uh, EGFR mutation. For example, the update analysis that uh, was presented by Shiris Gajil in uh, World Lung Cancer Congress for the Mariposa trial confirm an improvement in trend overall survival after the 31 months of medium follow-up with an adzer ratio on 0.77 is a benefit after 36 months of 61 rate versus 57 for a patient enrolled in the trial. So I think that this is a very important message confirming that a benefit is increasing step by step waiting for the final analysis of the survival, confirming that this combo is a new valid option for the first line treatment for this kind of patient. Here in ESMO, the Sancha proposed Popa presented the data of the update analysis of the Mariposa 2 trial. The Mariposa 2 trial were presented here in ISMO last year and uh, um, already received the EMA approval uh, two or three weeks uh, ago for patients with a pretreated non-small cell lung cancer ABOEGFR mutation after ozimertinib. So uh, here we can see that there is a, a very, very interesting trend improvement in the overall survival, the other ratio it's a 0.73 in favor of the combination of uh, chemo plus amivantan versus chemotherapy alone. And also, all, all the other secondary points like progression free survival 2, time to distant metastasis, time to symptomatic progression, favor the combination of chemo plus amivantan, confirm this as the new standard of care after ozimertin worldwide, waiting for the different kind of, of approval. In testing, uh, there where uh, there was another presentation by Professor Bass that discussed the mechanism of a resistance in the Mariposa trial. In the Mariposa trial, uh, patients were evaluated with a liquid biopsy, uh, with an NGS analysis to understand a difference across the different kind of uh, treatment. Uh, here, the focus was to discuss the difference between amylase versus imertinib alone. And it's very, very interesting to confirm that using the combination amivantan plus lazertinib not only reduce the, um, the rate of resistance for EGFR and METRAC, but also reduce other pathway of resistance, like a um, potential improvement uh, using the combination. Interesting, also very, very um, uh, important to focus that the use of the combination reduce the rate of potential increase of a small cell transformation because there was a reduction in development of ARB1 mutation that is the key for this uh, cell, uh, small cell carcinoma transformation in this particular setting. Globally, that are very, very important that uh, confirm the role of amivantan as a significant player for patients with EGFR uh, disease uh, considered lung cancer, where the combination of first line is uh, rated to be one of the new standards of care, in particular with uh, the, um, the waiting of the approval of a subcutaneous formulation for amivantan that it will improve uh, more the safety profile for our patient. And for second line setting, the Mariposa 2 trial is a rated stand and we are ready to use in our patient clinical setting.